Hello, in this video I'm going to explain Ampere's Law. I'm going to do my best to explain Ampere's Law in a meaningful way that everyone understands. For Ampere's Law, here's the most basic um, form. So you have this conductor right here with a current going up with uh, a current of I. There's then this Um, space around it and there's going to be a magnetic field as I talked about caused by this wire um, essentially what we get from that is that the magnetic field we go to the ma magnetic field dot ds or the little spaces around, infinitely small spaces around the circle is going to be equal to the uh, permittivity times i divided by 2 pi r. Times 2 pi r or the circumference of the circle. This will cancel these two out and the permittivity of free space times i is equal to this integral. Um, essentially what that gives us is that b um, times the integral of ds is equal to the permittivity constant times i if um, you can get both the magnetic field at a specific point from this equation due to a current and a the permittivity constant so say you want like this point right here you can uh, figure it out um, and if you have multiple wires say you have a space like this and you have two wires You can get the, or uh, sorry, you could uh, obtain, say, two magnetic fields, one going this way, one going um, the same direction, and you'll get a vector from that. Because if you use that curly <laughs> right hand rule, which I explained in a previous video, which I don't really recommend, but that's how all my textbooks explain it. Um, you'll have your thumb pointing down in the direction of I and your fingers will loop around creating a tangent vector all the way around for both sides and then you'll get two tangent vectors both pointing this direction. You can then add them together to get the total magnetism at that point. What this seems to be most often often used for is for calculating the current of a wire. Because if you have the magnetic field going in this direction at this point, right here, uh, this is getting really messy, at this point right here and you have this magnetic field in this direction, if you know one current you can then use this, you have this position vector, this magnetism vector, the permittivity constant, and then you have I uh, let's call this I1 and I2, I1 minus I2, and you can actually solve for it. It would be minus And that's how you can actually solve for the current using Ampere's Law if you know a specific point. Essentially what I found to be most useful from Ampere's Law is that 
as there's current going through a wire, it expands, and if you use that curly right hand rule, though I don't, I have a tendency not to use it, you um, can get vectors off these magnetic field lines. That can help you determine the current, or if you put a particle there, if you multiplied it by, um, or like, if you put a particle there, how much magnet or like a particle flying through that point, how much magnetism will be, um, how much magnetic force will be on that specific particle. Sorry, I got a little stumbled up there. Um, that's what I found to be most helpful. I hope you understand this. If you have any questions, comment, and I'll try to help you out and respond. Um, thank you for your time, and I might follow up with an example problem if I have time. Thank you.